Okay, so in this tutorial, what I'm going to take you through is how to install Burp Suite, how to install your C certificate, and how to use Burp Suite. This tutorial will be designed for anybody, basically a beginner with zero experience, only if you just freshly installed Kalinux, it doesn't really matter. I will take you through A to Z. Make sure to stick to the end of the video, as I'll be giving you extra tips, extra information, and everything you need to know about Burp Suite. Additionally, if you want to learn from the best and you want to learn your basically upskill your ethical hacking journey make sure to check out my course which will be in the description below okay so let's get started so there's two commands first of all you need to run if for whatever reason you don't have you if you don't have burpsy installed on cali that's okay i'll take you through and if you sh you should have burpsy installed on your cali the first thing you need to do is sudo apt get update sudo apt get upgrade and so once you run these commands you've updated your Kali and now what we can do is basically check if we have burp suite installed how do we check if you type in burp suite in your terminal it should say highlighted blue this means basically something's installed and we can run this like an application on windows right however if you don't have it installed that's absolutely fine what we can do is sudo apt install burp suite and as you can see i actually haven't installed my cali for the best purpose of this video just let it install as you can see just installed okay cool so now we have burp suite installed what we can do is either run it through the left corner or type it type in burp suite or what we can do is type in here burp suite we're gonna, so we're gonna run the burp suite terminal based right once you run it just click next start burp and this is one of the most latest additions. It will look a bit different than the past. It looks it looks looks much different. Okay, so now you have Burp Suite installed. We're basically halfway there, but you still need to install your C certificate. How to install your C certificate? Well, we need to do this through Mozilla. Open Mozilla or any browser, as long as you can have a proxy installed or an extension of proxy, you can run this on any browser. But Mozilla is the standard browser for Kali Linux. Go to doc.go.com. As you can see, we get some traffic, but we're not really interested in this. We're interested in doing what I'm going to do now. Okay, so we're going to do this Foxy Proxy Standard. And it should be the third setting from the top. If not, then just need to keep looking for Foxy Proxy Standard. Once you click here, you're going to see it's a Foxy Proxy Standard by Eric Erosman. Install this. I already have installed, as you can see. Once installed, go to the right corner, click Foxy Proxy and Options. Proxies. Just remove this. Save and click Add. Title. Burp or whatever you really want to. I'm going to call it Burp. Now, Change it to color, change it to whatever you want. I like to set usually orange because that's the color of Burp Suite. So just set it whatever you want. Minimize this and go to Burp Suite. Go to proxy, proxy settings, and as you can see, there's an interface. Now you can change this. However, as if you don't have any idea how to change this, leave it as it is. It's absolutely fine. You don't need to change it. If you ever run two proxies, so if you run, for example, Zap Proxy and Burp Suite at the same time, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to change your proxy settings, right? However, as you can see, it says 127001, which is the loopback address, 8080. That's fine. We go back to our website, sorry, our proxy. 127001, 8080. Okay, that's fine, save. And now if you basically close this okay so now what we're going to do is get our c certificate http burp suite as you can see it is a burp suite website c certificate just click here it's going to download as you can see i've got a second one open this i'm just going to move these files we're going to take this this is our certificate go to the settings type in cert okay so now we need to do is go view certificates, import, CSRTR, trust this C to identify websites. Okay, 
Okay, and now basically what you have done is successfully installed your CA certificate. And now you're basically able to run Warp Suite. So, if you close this down for a second, close this. And as you can see, we're in proxy. Now, if you ever run Warp Suite, you should be ready to go. Okay, okay. So now to basically run our proxy, what we're going to do is go to the right corner. of Foxy proxy, make sure it's selected. Make sure we only have one also, just on the same port. Click the current one, Warp Suite. Come to proxy, intercept on, and refresh or go to a website you want to go, refresh. And as you can see, we just have successfully intercepted a request. And now what we can do is change whatever we want to. And as you can see by, for example, visiting tryhackme.com, what we can do is intercept some requests. As you can see, we can play around with these ones, with these values of whatever the website you visit on. I do not recommend obviously running this on the first website you run. Um, it is allowed, but as long, you know, you, you shouldn't really do anything that's illegal for the purpose of your security. So that'll be basically it for this video. I hope I have showed you something. I hope you learned something new. If you'd be interested, as I said, if you'd be interested in learning about ethical hacking the fastest way, which will be my Udemy course, make sure you check it out. It'll be in the description below. Leave a like, share with friends, leave a comment, and thank you guys. Thank you for watching. See you later.